Um, there's only a few months uh, left in this administration. Why not, um, as some advocates have proposed, uh, cease removals um, of people from Central America? Um, you know, or the Northern well, Triangle. Well, the reason for the reason not to do that is we don't have open borders, and if we ceased removals, we'd have a humanitarian crisis. There would be a surge for the exits if we ceased removals. I think you know that. So that's one thing. Um, <clears throat> we have not been happy with the numbers, um, which is why we are expanding the publicity around the existing CAM program, why we've expanded the scope of it, the parameters of it. We're very pleased that Costa Rica has stepped up to be involved in in-country processing. And it's something that we would very, very definitely like to see more of. <clears throat> Government is about limits, however. We have a defined number of asylum screeners, refugee screeners, and we have a world refugee crisis emanating from the Middle East, which we are surging resources to, in addition to the Central American issue. USCIS is a fee-based organization. Uh, with the exception of E-Verify, no appropriated money goes to the refugee resettlement USCIS mission. So we have a finite level of resources that we can dedicate to these to these huge humanitarian situations. Through a lot of hard work and a lot of resources, I think we're going to meet the enhanced commitment we made for Syrian refugees and for worldwide refugees. We've enhanced the worldwide global number to 85,000. I think we're going to make both. Central America is something where we, are, we want to expand upon this. Um, I believe that <clears throat> As long as the push factors exist in Central America, we're going to have this problem on the southwest border. No level of border security, no wall, uh, doubling the size of the border patrol, all these things will not stop illegal migration from countries as long as a seven-year-old is desperate enough to flee on her own, to travel the entire length of Mexico because of the poverty and the violence in her country. So. We want to invest in these countries. Congress has invested $750 million, and we want to establish a safe alternate legal path. This was advice, good advice, that I got two years ago when we were dealing with the crisis then. And somebody said to me, you can't just shut the door. You have to provide a safe legal alternate path. Um, have the numbers of those who have applied 